In this video, we're going to look at labeling and how to label points in ArcMap and even play around with some advanced settings. And so here what I have is a shapefile of 10 dots. There are cities and it's actually the top 10 cities to be single in the United States according to Forbes magazine. And if you look here in the attribute table, you can see that we have the city name and we have the different uh, values that were used to calculate its attractiveness for for singles to live in, and then we have here the rank. And uh, but on the on the screen here, we just see black dots. So we want to label that the black dots in order to see what uh, either ranks or city they are to give more information to our map. The place that you're going to find labels is under the layer property. So if you right click your layer, which I have it called Book One, um, and look here, there's a labels tab. And under the Labels tab, this is where you can modify the labels. Um, if you check on this box, Label Features in this layer, what it will do is turn on labeling. And for example, we can choose one of those fields in the attribute table. So we had here like rank, city, state. So let's say we go with the rank, and then we hit OK. And you can see it adds numbers on to each of the dots um, so that we see the rankings. One thing that we can also do with these uh, labels is change the way they look. You can do this again through that labels uh, tab under the layer properties. One thing that I like to do, of course, is increase the size of the label. Um, sometimes I like to use a different uh, font uh, that looks a little bit that, so I'm not using the defaults. Um, another option that I find uh, that works well whenever you're working on a base map is to add a halo around your uh, text. So if I go here to the uh, symbol under text symbol and I click on edit symbol and I look at mask, this here I can add a label, a uh, halo, and that adds a little white kind of background behind the text. And so whenever I hit OK, OK, you can see that the text is a lot easier to read because that little white surrounding on it. And if I zoom in here, you can see. Um, what I mean, but you can see that little white around the nine. Uh, it's it helps it pop out when it has when you have a noisy background. But just having the rank here might not be enough information. One of the cool things that you can do with labels is that you can um, you can pull different information out of here, out of the, the attribute table to include into a text string. So if I go here to the properties again under the label tab. Um, of course, if I go here and switch between different attributes, you can see that they come out with now with the city. But I want to have under the rank, the city, and the state. And so to do that, I can do that through building an expression. So if I click expression, you have here all the different fields in your attributes. And then here you can write out an expression using um, VBScript. And what you, what you can do is um, what you need to know for VBScript is the ampersand and the double quotes. So ampersand will connect different variables together and the double quotes will allow you to manually add text. So here I have rank and then if I put ampersand and then I put in my manual text in double quotes, I put my double quote space minus space double quote ampersand. What that's saying now to do is say rank and then this text string and then my next uh, field. Uh, my next field I want to do is city, and then uh, and then my ampersand again. I can go now and put double quotes, and I want to do a comma space, ampersand, uh, double quotes, ampersand, and then state. And so what I'm saying it to do is say give it, pull the rank out of the attribute table, then do space minus space, then pull the city out of the attribute table, then do comma space, then put the state. If I click on verify you can see what that's going to come out looking like. So one New York City, New York. Number one place for singles according to Forbes. So if I hit OK now, instead of it pulling out that single uh, that single variable, it's built constructing that text string. And so when I hit OK now, you can see here the label because more information, the rank of the city plus the city and the state. So once you're extremely happy with your um, with your map, and honestly, I'm not that wild about this base map, so let me 
try out a different base map. And one thing that's really cool is that you can turn off these references. So all that noise of the other cities, you can just turn it off. And so here now I have my uh, cities on top of the base map grayscale. And I have the information, the ranks, and, this, and the city names and states. Uh, once I go into layout mode, you can decide that you're happy with the map. So let's uh, switch it over to landscape. Oh. Landscape. Go ahead and zoom in too. But one thing that comes up with the labeling sometimes is the automatic automatic placement of labels isn't always the best. And especially here we have crowding it can start becoming a little confusing. Um, there's some properties here under the labels that you can change for um, placement properties. So you can say that you want to place it with this kind of priorities. Um, but even still, you have some problems. And sometimes you have problems with overlapping labels. And if you don't check on this box, it will just suppress the labels from coming out. And so uh, here, for example, you might have too much you know, labels covering up dots, it's not very good uh, cartographic uh, communication. And so what you can do to, uh, to manually move these, to place them yourself, is convert these to annotations. And so the only thing, I, the only hint that I have for you here is make sure that your labels are exactly the way you want them to look, like in text format and so forth, because once you convert, it's, uh, it's hard to go back. And then so what you'll end up having to do is re- relabel everything. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> um, what you want to do is say convert labels to annotations. What this does is take those current labels you have there and turn them into uh, texts. And um, I usually do the in the map. It just works easier. And so what happens now is that this is, these are texts. And if I go into my map, I can actually click and move them around so you can start placing them. Um, in the clear fashion, so like Milwaukee, for example, would be put over here, and then Chicago over here. And that makes shows a clear, clear, uh, clearly that Chicago is this one and Milwaukee is this one. Um, or even you could put them on the same side if you wanted, but at least you can spread them apart. Um, Washington D.C. You can move down here, so it's not crowding with uh, New York City and Philadelphia. Actually, that is New York City. And here is Philadelphia. And so this will allow you to actually place the labels clearly so then the map reader will be able to see exactly what dot is what place. Um, sometimes automatic placements aren't very good, so it's always good to go back and manually uh, add on top of those labels. So that's how you work with labels in ArcMap. Um, just a quick recap. We know that we can find the labels under the uh, label properties, under the layer properties. You'd want to check this box. We use an expression where we're using VBScript. If you wanted to just label something all the same way, you can just choose here from the dropdown. But with the expression, you can use the ampersand to connect different variables or strings together. Um, these are all information that's coming from your attribute table. Um, so you're actually pulling information from here to create your labels. Once you have your labels uh, nicely made, um, all, yeah. also another advanced tip is that you can add a halo. If you go into the edit symbols and under the masks, that will help pop out your label on the base maps of your maps. And once you have your map uh, made, your labels made the way you want, a good practice is to convert them to annotations and that will allow you to edit them just like any other text. Um, this way you can place them and move them around properly.